This is a Cybex Balios S Lux, and today we're going to make a short demonstrational video showing you all of the basic functions involved if you purchase the stroller in just daily use and so on. We're not going to cover folding or textile removal today as we have separate guides for both of those. So if you're interested in the folding characteristics of this model or removing the textiles, just search uh, Balios S Lux on our channel and you'll find those uh, corresponding guides. So all of the other functions though, we will be looking at uh, starting at the top with the handle. So in order to lengthen the height of the handle, you're gonna depress the main button here in the center. You don't need to do anything with the safety slider on the top as that uh, is only related to the uh, folding of the model. But if you depress the main button here, then you can pull up the handle and it will lock into various positions. Uh, there's a wire that runs down the inside here and a peg, spring-loaded peg that pops out of different holes underneath. That's the highest that it goes. All right, moving on then to the seat. In order to uh, take off the seat and change the orientation, there are a pair of memory buttons. You can see one here on this side. So you don't have to, memory buttons means you don't have to depress them at the same time. You can push in one and it will lock down in the open position. Then you can press in the other. This allows you then to pull off the entire seat unit and turn it around. And then you're just gonna slot it in and it will lock back in place. And you can see that those buttons have been pulled back out and you'll hear an audible click as well uh, if you're worried about making sure that they lock into place. Other functions on the seat then. Uh, here in the back, side, back of the canopy is a uh, extension. So you get a little bit more sun coverage. It of course also has this flap in the front. But if you'd like a little bit more sun coverage while your child's having a nap, for example, you just need to unzip this long zipper along the back end. And that allows you then to pull out the canopy a bit further. If you want to adjust the position of the seat, on the back of the seat unit here is uh, this trigger or flap, and you're just going to pull up on that, and this will allow you to get various positions on the seat, all the way down to the uh, fully flat position. All right, looking at the front, does have an adjustable leg rest. This is regulated via these white buttons on the side here. So you depress those and that allows you to push it down into sort of a uh, somewhat reclined position or somewhat uh, at an angle position or like the fully down leg rest where your child can then use the foot rest there. When you're pulling back up the leg rest, you don't need to depress the buttons. It'll pop into that position and then pop into the fully flat position. Uh, this one is sort of self-explanatory, but on the bumper bar here, there's a button on the side that allows you to release the bumper bar. It is rotatable, which is quite uh, handy for taking your child in and out. When it comes to the harness, the harness is adjustable via these uh, little plastic bits on the buckles. So you can adjust the middle strap in order to give yourself a little bit more or less um, uh, give or room on that belt buckle. Uh, when it comes to the shoulder straps, you can also adjust the height of these shoulder straps as they go over your child's shoulders as they grow. So if you look underneath this um, padding here, you'll notice like just the common plastic adjustment buckle that you would find like on backpacks and stuff. And you can pull those up and down along the strap like a track in order to uh, be a little bit tighter down over your child's shoulders or a little bit looser as they grow. All right, moving on to the rear frame then. It just has a basic brake here, it's a rotation-based brake system. So pushing it that way, will unlock the brakes, pulling it down, will lock the brakes. That affects a pin that runs out of the side here into the rear wheels. Uh, you can also remove the rear wheels. So if you flip it upside down, on the rear wheels, you'll notice that there's a button here. And if you depress that, it will unlock uh, the pin from a groove in the axle here and allow you to pull out those rear wheels. Put them back in place like that. When it comes to the front wheels, if you'll notice this little white button here on the side, that is for locking the swivel function. So if you're going over difficult terrain, uh, wheels start wobbling and stuff, pull your wheel so that it is facing backwards. And then you can just pop that white button over the side and it will lock those wheels in an inline direction. If you would like to remove the front wheels, there is not uh, just a regular button. Cybex uh, very often does not just do a regular button, but instead it's like this sort of recessed metal pin just above the swivel lock. And you'll need something that is uh, flat and small. And you can press in on that little metal pin that's recessed in there, and that will allow 
the front wheel to unlock, and uh, the locking mechanism functions in the same way. That's going to lock into a groove on the axle. In any case, those are all the basic functions that we can cover in our folding or textile removal guides for the Valios S Lux. We also have a review of this model. If you're interested, you can just look on our channel, uh, and we will also be putting up full measurements of just about any sort of measurements you could be interested in on this model on our Patreon page. So there'll be a link to that in a comment pinned below the video, uh, as well as a description, I believe. In any case, we hope this video is useful to you, and if it was, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.